What's going on YouTube? My name is Diesel and today we are back in Scribe Mechanic. Fantastic. Wonderful game. Lovely. It's very creative. Very nice. And I like it. Just chilling here yesterday in my Formula One. Oh. Just hanging out here. Having a good time. Yesterday we made a plane. Um, this is my lovely cigar F1 racing car. I'm gonna have such a good time. Super fast. I knew I should have built it on a uh, flat track. Uh, someone actually wanted me to make a track in the sky to drive this thing on, and I'm like, that will take forever. That will take so long. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I don't know about that. But we should do something on like a flat land. Flat land. We could try and do a racetrack. I think that would be kind of cool. Uh, I just have to mimic this somehow. I just have, I don't know how I'm gonna do it. So there's no workshop. I'm actually, uh, there are people that are like, uh, dude, you don't build these things. I sure do. I wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning, uh, I drink a cup of coffee and a cup of joe, and I have an idea in my head. I'm at work. When I'm at work, I'm thinking about some stuff, and uh, I'm like plotting out different bearing points and things like that. I'm like, I'm a little nutty with it. Especially um, when you have, oh, that's a little creation. Um, especially when you feel like uh, I got all these like ideas in my head. But then there's some all these people that do us that make uh, give me suggestions in the comments, and I'm like, that would be kind of cool. I'll, 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 I'll have to try and figure that out. So at work, I'm like trying to think of what to do and how to do it, and then when I get into game, it takes me like two or three hours sometimes. And they're like, well, how could you build on camera? I don't build on camera because this stuff takes forever. What is this, Diesel? It is a front end loader with a back go attachment, and it all works, surprisingly. Like, like pretty nice. It is. Uh, like a uh, front end loader. It's like a, uh, you know, little bobcat, you know, caterpillar, whatever, you, whatever, whatever floats your boat. I actually used to drive uh, when I was a landscaper. I was a, uh, uh, I used to get the, uh, the, I was the guy who loaded the mulch. So I would grab a mulch with a bobcat, I would lo lift it up, and then I would lay it down. Or snow removal too. Bobcats are great for snow removal. Um, and I would rather be in the bobcat during snow removal because it kind of, uh, you know, the cover kind of blocks some of the wind. And, uh, yeah, it's a good time. Just popping some earbuds. But let me show you how this works. So, uh, we have the front steering, four wheel, it's a four, uh, all wheel, all wheel drive. All wheel drive. Because you need power to everything, man. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Alright, so now we have four controllers in the back. Four, uh, there's two switches, two buttons controlling those four, and they're all connected to the steering wheel. Uh, the steering wheel is connected to the front two, and also the hinge in the back for the backhoe. Now, uh, one of the controllers lifts up this thing, the switch lifts up the arms, and then we have a button that just uh, makes this go uh, down to dump the, uh, the load. Whatever you whatever whatever you're hauling, whatever whatever it is, whatever it is you like. Uh, also in the back, another controller uh, hits this bad boy right here, the backhoe, and then just does an arm motion. And then since this is attached to the steering wheel, you can use the steering wheel to move this from side to side. Because when you're digging a backhoe, and then you got a whole uh, area, you gotta put a place. You know, you have to have a place to put it. So you dig it up, and then you move it to the side, left or right, and then you kind of like flick it out, and then all the dirt and all the grime falls on the ground. And now you got yourself a, a, a fine hole, indeed. And also on a back hole, uh, we have a uh, another controller that controls these two legs that kind of come down. If you ever see what a back hole does when this thing is ready to rock and roll, they put these down for stabilization so that the uh, uh, vehicle, like the other end of it, doesn't like get all imbalanced. Especially if you're on a uneven ground, it really uh, helps out. It really does. So let's let's ride this beast. Let's drive it. Now, the uh, I only have one engine in the front. Uh, it's also weighted down in the front by metal blocks inside of the engine HUD. You can't see them. I got a little grill piece. Let me just show you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. People like to see this, though. Some people like seeing it. Just the two little sparks. Not sparks. Uh, shocks. Uh, that go in the front. And uh, behind that is some wires. Some uh, one-end wires. That way it just gives a little depth. little detail that you'll never, ever see. Ever. Very nice. Um, burp. And this is so six connections. Six connections for one controller. Oh, it's eight. It's four, eight. No, no, it's four. No, two there. Two there. Okay, and that lifts it up. And the one is just used as a button because I don't want to have it 
on a controller, I want to be able to use the front end loader dump uh, free form it. So we got this, we're moving back and forth from left to right. Bum, ba, da. Now the only problem is that when you're driving, the, uh, the backhoe is going to spin with you. <laughs> it's fine though. So let's see here. There's a, uh, let's just imagine we have ourselves a little load. So we got to go, we pick it up, we go, boom, we're picking it up. And then we'll take, whoa, don't. Let's try it again. So now, we're driving, we're going to go scoop up some snow, or some dirt. And then we're driving, we're scraping, we lift it up, and then we take it over here. Whoa, we take it over here, and we dump it. Then we press the button again, it goes right back, and then the switch goes back down. Fantastic. Isn't that fancy? It's so fancy. It's so nice. There we go. Up. Whoa, whoa, ho, ho, ho. Get some hydraulics going. Uh. Uh. Make it hop. Get some get some air time, baby. Okay. One more time. Let's move it forward. We're scooping it up. All the snow. Then uh, we'll take it over to our little place where we're dumping all the snow and dumping all the dirt. And then we hit the button. And it dumps all the dirt. And then it goes back. And then it goes back down. And we're backing up. And we're going at it again for hours on end. Now, as far as the back is concerned, the switch brings down the legs. And then our third button controls the whole mechanism. So you hold that in. And then you can spin it to the left. Five seconds later, it shoots it out. Ah, very cool. Now the only problem is, is that it goes back into the same motions again. Yeah. That's the only bad part. But then, go ahead and we'll dig. Uh, we'll turn this over to the right hand side. And we'll fling it out that way. Very good. Ha! <laughs> So we are all balanced, we are all ready to rock and roll, baby. Oh, this is pretty nifty. It's like, it looks kind of like a like a crane or a praying mantis. Or someone who's on his knees at a toilet. That's what the back of head kind of looks like. And then with the leg, you know, the front two feet, like, oh god. So the back of had a hard night of partying. Brrrr, oh god. Spin over this way. Fling it out. And then we are back to where we started again. Very cool! This actually surprisingly, and then we'll, okay, so now we want to ready and rock and roll, and we're out of here. And we're, well, are we gone? We are gone. <laughs> there are a bunch of people that were like, yo man, it's uh, not scrap designer, it's scrap mechanic, make something mechanical, and I'm like, uh, okay. And there are a bunch of people that were like, yo, can you make like a, a front end loader or like a bulldozer? I'm like, sure. I sure can. So I was like, oh, I'll just make a front end loader with a backhoe. I think I could do it. So uh, all, all day at work, sat there and went, yeah, 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 we can design it like that. And then spent about an hour and a half this morning putting it all together. It's, it's coming together, folks. Now, the only problem is that the uh, small tires in the front and the big tires in the back, if you ever see a picture of a front end loader and a backhoe, I f I'm not sure which end is the steering. I don't know if it's the front or the back. Um, I don't know. But. A fine machine, none the less. Very cool. Oh, haha. <laughs> now, if only we had some kind of like destructible items or something like that in the game that we can kind of do this with. I know that I could. Oh, let's, let's see if we can do it. Let's see if we can do something. Let's, let's see. Whoa. And then we'll take this. Very good. We didn't have to. We didn't have to like make it that tall. <laughs> let's just uh, let's just delete some of these things here. Let's see if this will pick it up. All right. Oh, it's so close. It gets so close to it. All right, let's try it again. It doesn't really graze the ground. It doesn't. Can we get these in here? Hold on here. Let's back this up. Back it up, back it up. Getting higher, girl. It doesn't want to go up. 
crap. Oh, it's so close. It wants to. It really wants to. Oh god. What am I doing? Come here. Whoa there, tiger. Now as far as the power goes, it really relies a lot on that back the back steering. See this? Once it hits a bump, forget about it. There we go. Alright. Because it's uneven ground. And that none of the environment is destructible, so it's like, okay. How are we doing this? What are we doing here, folks? What are we doing here? Can we get it? Can we get it? No, no, we're not gonna get it. So in theory it works. <laughs> in theory, if there were some things on the ground, we could be able to, to pick them up. These things are not cooperating very well. Maybe on a flat world, I don't know. But if, I mean, there's a, the whole reason for a backhoe and a uh, front end loader is to be able to pick things up. Diesel fail. Diesel fail designs. Diesel designs fail. Brr. Your thing can't even pick up th three tiny little blocks. No, it can't. No, it can't. That's a shame. I didn't even try, I didn't even try to test that. That's fine, though. It still looks pretty nifty. And y'all get the gist. There's the piece I was looking for. Clean up after your mess. Very good. Now, like I said, it can, as far as destructible environments, um, when survival comes, I'm not sure exactly how they're going to be planning on doing it. Um, I know that... Uh, I really don't know anything, um, but I know that when you uh, go into a survival world and you want to build something, you're going to want to like level the terrain to try and make things flat. And uh, I think it'd be kind of cool to just you have to build a machine to make it flat. Otherwise, it's kind of like cheaty, cheaty, cheaty McGee. And I think uh, a, a thing like this would be kind of cool to level something off and uh, actually move like <laughs> move things around like a construction worker. And I realized too, this is kind of tiny. This is a little compact build. I'm kind of proud of this. And maybe the yeah, front end uh, loader could be a the uh, the front end could be a little wider. But uh, I was looking at some pictures and uh, yeah, also looking looking pretty on point. I mean, since scrap mechanic, what do you want me to do? It's a video game. Uh, so yeah. And this is my little creation. So, folks, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead, hit like. It helps my channel out ever so much more than you know. And if you like it a whole lot, go ahead, hit subscribe. New videos are coming out every single day, every single week, folks. Have a great day, afternoon, evening, good night. Peace out, like, shout, y'all. And I will check you out right here again in Scrap Mechanic next time. You're doing a good job, that thing. You're doing a very, very, very good job.